Good evening. You're watching Interviews on Us. And I have two very fine people with me. Viola Tyson and her husband, Harvey. There has been a recent debacle in the KKK and Harvey's in that clan. As we all know, the KKK is no good. So, we're going to ask him a couple of questions and view a couple of questions about their marriage and their fine business that they own. And uh, we'll get a few questions to get some uh, insight about how the KKK affected our families. All right, Mr. Cleveland, what was the exact reason for you joining the KKK? Did well, you regret your city? Well, I thought it would be good for business, but now that I look back on it, it was not good for business. Hmm, you don't say. And if I would have turned back the time, I would have not joined the KKK. Hmm, why would you not join the KKK? It wasn't bad for it. was good for business, or? It was poor. It, was, it didn't make a difference to business, and it just ended up making life worse for me and my wife. So, Harvey, has the clan made you do anything that you did not want to do? Or not want to talk about? Yes, they have made me do some pretty bad things, but the major thing that they made me do was actually try to poison my neighbors, well named the Sutters, who are black. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't do it, so I actually gave the job to an 18 year old boy. Wow, I can see Viola is very uh, distraught about this news. Have you heard about this? Well, uh, yes. And what do you have to say about him giving a 18 year old boy a man's job? I think it was very cowardly of him. Mm. What do you have to say for yourself? Nothing. She pretty much just sucked it up right there. I'm mm. a coward. I mean, he's just sulking this moment. Alright, now on to a specific topic. Oh. A nice mustache action. Did you know about the shooting of Ira Hirsch? No. And the shooting? No, I did not know anything about the shooting, therefore I will not be talking about this. Mm. She's very closed minded about this. Do you know anything special that you want to tell me? Um, I know a lot of people are thinking it's Merlin Van Trout, but I know it's not Merlin because he ran away after he couldn't poison the sun as well. Because right after he came up to me and told me he couldn't do it, and I told him to run. I you think heard, I, you heard about the news of the shooting right after that? Um, yes, and I think it might be Johnny Reeves because after the shooting, he actually jumped off a bridge. I don't know if you guys knew about that. It was very sad, okay. but it's a little suspicious. Mm. Why? Why did he jump off the bridge? Because of the shooting? I don't know. And then he just couldn't handle what? Maybe. I don't really know. To be honest mm. with you. So this is why you think he was a uh, shooter? Because he couldn't handle it himself? Yes, sir. Mm. So, was, uh, was there anything else about Johnny Reeves that something special that happened to him? Did he have any instincts? Um, well, at one point he was kicked out of the clan for raping a girl. Mm. Which is very disturbing. Yeah. Very nice. And was this was this just before the when was this in the timeline of the shooting? Um, before the shooting. Ooh. We got some groundbreaking evidence. See, he got kicked out of the clan. And he tried what do you think about it? He tried to redeem himself by shooting our Hirsch because he is you may not know, but he's a Jewish man. And uh, he tried to redeem himself. But he couldn't live with himself and kill himself. Mm. Mm. That's a solution. That might be uh, an answer to all this madness. One thing to keep in mind when you're talking about the case. Um, so, Pedagogues, how big of a hit did your relationship take after the KKK? Um, let's just start with Viola. Alright, well, our relationship got better after the KKK left, but when the KKK was here, and how was involved in it. Was he a different man during the KKK? No, he was different. Why, why do you think he was different? Was he, like well, he was a different person when he was with his clan. Why were you a different person? Were you trying to act like someone you weren't? Uh, pretty much. Um, I did stuff that cost us a lot of money. As like the brooms? Family, like the broom. Also, I broke a window in a hotel after drinking liquor, which is illegal. Yeah. And did you ever think about the repercussions you would that Viola would think of you, repercussions in your marriage? 
because of what Viola might think of you. That's what I have to say. To be honest, though, I never actually thought about that because my parents got too caught up in the clan and stuff, and I never thought our relationship would have taken a hit. Mm. And so you're saying that you're a kind of selfish, selfish man during all this? I was a very selfish man. Mm. Do, you, very do you forgive uh, Harvey for, for his actions? I forgive him. Because he didn't really do anything that too horrible. I mean, he did. He just punched you in the well, He didn't do anything to hurt the town itself, really. He just cost us a lot of money, and I guess that's better than justifiable. But he still, you still were a coward and didn't poison others. I mean, I guess it's a good thing that you didn't poison them because that would cost some life. You know, there's two. It was a good you thing. Can't, you can't have it both ways. No. So, um, did you ever fear about Harvey during the clan? Did you ever fear about his life or anything that might happen to him? Or did you just say, hmm, off of his head? I don't really care about him. He's being a grudge. Well, I did fear for his life, but I figured he was going to let the clan control our business and like control a lot of his actions. Then they probably wouldn't kill him or hurt him in any way. So, so you felt you had some faith in the clan? Yeah, well, a little, but, but more in But yourself, but it was just in you. Did you have any fear that he might go out and kill someone and get drunk and yeah. do something stupid? Yeah. So you did? Because after I found out about the uh, broken window at the hotel after drinking, I was scared that perhaps it could happen a second time. Mm. But worse. Yeah, maybe even human life. He might have broken a family. Or a heart. Hmm. Think about that. All right. Coming up on my last questions here. So, Viola, you did not like your uh, husband's decision of joining the clan, did you? No. And you tried to stop him? Yeah. Um. So, did you have any temptation to join the clan yourself? Uh, no, because I didn't believe in all that propaganda that my uh, silly old husband did. Hmm. So. What were your feelings about it? Did you have any resentment towards Harvey? Uh, yes, for a while. I, we had some issues. Mm, some rents in your relationship? Hmm. Mm-hmm. So you had to deal with those. Cool. All right. So, Viola, you did not like your uh, husband's decision of joining the clan, did you? No. And you tried to stop him? Yeah. Um, so, did you have any temptation to join the clan yourself? Uh, no, because I didn't believe in all that propaganda that my uh, silly old husband did. Mm. So, what were your feelings about it? Did you have any resentment towards Harvey? Uh, yes, for a while. I, we had some issues. Mm. Some rents in your relationship? Mm. Mm-hmm. So you had to deal with those. So what were those issues with your marriage with Harvey? Well, once he joined the clan, it was really bad for business and for our marriage in general. Can you elaborate on the business part? Yes. As I said before, the brooms, that was a bad situation because it cost us a lot of money. And what happened with the brooms? Well, they were really bad rooms. They like, the wood that they were made with was not good. It was very cheap. Yeah, so did the, did the women that bought them get splinters? Or? Yes, and we had to pay for their hospital bills and buy them new brooms. No, we did not have to pay for our hospital bills. Oh, I, I hear some fighting with the too. So what was the actual story? Viola decided that we should give them fruit baskets and new qual- high quality rooms. Mmm. Okay. So that was not very good for business. Because no, you had it because the fruit baskets were probably more. Yes, and you had to reimburse them for the rooms. Yes, we did have to reimburse wow. them. Wow. Thank you for watching our interview of Harvey and Viola Pettibone. This has been Interviews are us.